Hi everyone, welcome once again to Root Access. Ryan Ritchie, Jamie DeGrazio, uh, and a little What's friend. This? Another gadget. Another gadget, another non-Apple gadget. Uh, let me let me show this to you. Oh, that's not an iPhone. This is the uh, G1 yeah. from T-Mobile with Google, as it says on the back, manufactured by HTC, as it says on the side. So you switched. You, you, you I have not switched. No. I, uh, this is just a, a review unit, full review. You can find uh, on our blog, video review and a, a text wrap-up. But... Uh, you had a chance to, to play yeah. with this as well. Yeah, so you, you basically gave it to me and said, <laughs> Do something. Turn, turn it, on. it on. You know, go to a web page, play some music, shut off, the, you know, switch back to basic, the web browser. Basic things we would expect from yep. an iPhone competitor. What were your thoughts? I thought it was horrible, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, I, I had sort of decent expectations for the G1. Uh -huh. um, this was the first time I actually got to, you know, to play with one. Uh, so we'll do some closer. But... It just seemed very clunky, very slow. It, it took forever to start up. Mm -hmm. um, just to do anything, it seemed kind of sluggish. And, you know, the music player was basic at best. And the web browser was not very intuitive. And you mm -hmm. think at least that would be right? You know, at least they would get the web browser right, being Google. Right. Well, but. they're not doing so well with Chrome either. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe that was the wrong... The wrong but I, I was really disappointed. And I... I don't even see that as being a real competitor. But what about what about the fact that you can flip the screen up and da 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 da? Well, I guess you pointed out. You said maybe if you were coming from a Windows mobile device or a, a Palm device, mm -hmm. and you would see this and you'd be like, "Wow, this is great." Right. But coming from an iPhone, like I don't want a physical keyboard anymore. It right. just seems clunky. It seems slow. You know, I just wanted to use the screen for everything. I was surprised that despite the fact it has a touch screen you don't have a touch keyboard. There's not a yeah. touch, you have to flip it out and use this physical keyboard. And I'm still trying to get to the bottom of this. With our particular unit, the keys light up in such a manner that when they're left, you can't see the letters. And so you don't know what you're, <laughs> what you're typing. And there's no corrective uh, text to it like, like the iPhone. My, my thought on it to, to you know, kind of summarize it would be, uh, if you already have T-Mobile and you really love T-Mobile, maybe they have great yeah. coverage where you are and you don't want to leave, but you want to spend $200 on a phone, I guess this is a good one to spend it on. But I, I can't imagine anyone switching providers for this oh, no, no. or anyone head-to-head -head looking at the iPhone and saying that they're even in the same league, really. So... So we don't think this is a threat. Skip. No. So Skip. maybe maybe the, the the pre. So let's talk about that and some other threats to the iPhone. The Palm Pre. I tell you, I think this one's legitimate just because Apple's going out of their minds about it. Well, they they, they seem to be upset because it may infringe on some what some patents. Yeah. It may have. It does it's going to have multi-touch or it. It ha it has its own flavor. Yeah. Of multi-touch, also um, the way the icons work, but I mean it has copy and paste, so. Well, it looks it looks a little more Apple. -esque. Who copied who? It looks a little bit like the iPhone. And I guess that's from the more designers. So right. it, you know, the original iPhone designers are now mm -hmm. working on the pre. Mm -hmm. so. Which is also why Apple's watching it very closely to to see what. So happens. I guess we'll. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get a uh, early version of that to play with. I don't know. We'll see. We're trying. We're trying to get a Palm Pre and uh, next generation iPhone. Apple will send that over. It's new leadership. Tim Cook, he's just, you know, he'll send us a prototype. Yep. Um, I just don't understand it. I mean, the iPhone now, we're on year plus two years. It's going to be three years in June, July, of the iPhone, right? Is that math right? Yeah. It'll be three years. Three years. Um, I don't understand why it doesn't seem, other than the Palm Pre, that anything's really close yet. I don't get it. Yeah, it looks like they're still... Everybody's playing catch up still, and mm -hmm. they're in their mind simply having a touch device right. is the way of competing with the iPod when it's so much more now. It's it's the multi touch, it's the app store, it's the thin, it's the it's the quality of the build, mm -hmm. it's the the, uh, the interaction with your computer, and they're just looking at the iPhone and going, well, it's touch. So we'll just be able, we'll, we'll tack on touch to our can device. Touch it, people think it's the same but thing. But it's a lot more than that. People come into you know your Verizon store, and you as long as there's a touch on there, you can yeah. say, yeah, well, you can do this on the, just, yeah, just like the like iPhone. The, yeah, exactly. But. Because if you've never seen an iPhone, and the guy at the Verizon store says, oh, yeah, you can listen to music on this, just mm -hmm. like an iPhone, you think that's how the iPhone yeah. works, too. But it's not. 
And then I suppose it's also because the iPhone has its tentacles out there with things like iTunes, that it's really a whole universe. Um, purchasing apps on this phone or just downloading free apps is a bit of a challenge, mm -hmm. especially compared to the App Store. So things like that, it's, yeah, still, it's... it's still rough. So if you're working on a competing device, <laughs> uh, we'd love to review it. Let us know, root at the digitallifestyle.tv. Although you said you're thinking about maybe just uh, stand, go straight standard phone. I've thought about this. Get an iPod Touch. Well, I mean, I, I love my iPhone, but well, if I had, if, if given right. the choice, right. I would go straight standard phone and then just have an iPod get, Touch. Get one of those yeah. cheap uh, Pansera, Pantac, Pantac yeah, phones. Yeah, if I was locked in T-Mobile or Verizon, I wouldn't get that. I wouldn't get the BlackBerry Storm. Mm -hmm. I would get the iPod, or the iPod Touch. There you go. Keep that in mind, kids. Uh, don't forget, again, root at the digitallifestyle.tv. Your questions and comments. We'll be back in a little bit.